Go ahead. Mr. President-elect, go ahead. Can you say categorically? Mr. President-elect, can you give us a question? Don't be rude. Can you give us a question? Don't be rude. No, I'm not going to give you a question. I'm not going to give you a question. You are fake news. Sir. I'm Dave Janda. Welcome back to Dave versus the MSM. Thank you for joining me today. Thank you for networking this information. The fact that you're watching this video uh, is an indication that you've already jumped through about 15 hurdles in order to get to our content. Why? Because the cult is panicked. They are desperate. Let me give you an example. Just over the past week or so, a couple weeks, um, two weeks ago, Wham Talk 1600's Freedom Bunker, the radio station where I host our Operation Freedom radio show every Sunday from 2 to 5 Eastern. You can stream it live at DaveJanda.com uh, for free. Now, the podcasts, commercial free, are available as part of our subscription platform, along with the other four to five video format shows I do a week to put you months, years ahead of the curve. Hey, become part of our Freedom family. Uh, 30 cents a day, nine bucks a month. You, can, you don't have to sign up for a year. You do it month to month. Uh, try it for at least a month, two months, three months. But I can assure you, once you sign on, you you become addicted a bit to the content we provide because it puts you so far ahead of the curve. So a couple of weeks ago, I'm doing the show, the radio show. And uh, I have a guest on, Adriana Reed, talking about the financial scene, about the cult taking down the system, how to protect yourself, we're about five minutes into the interview, and all of a sudden, and do the show live, boom, boom, off. What happened? Well, there was an attack, apparently, on our phone lines and, jam and fried the system that takes the phone lines coming into the radio station and goes to a bunch of components that then brings it to the production board. That got fried. That took a large number of engineers and technicians to get that up and running again so but luckily my wingman Derek Stone my engineer had a way for us to get in touch with people other than through phones and we were able to pull off the show we did that for two weeks in a row because this was such a a, a, a fried situation that it took a long time to get those phone lines back up then I was doing the show recently and uh, got through the first two and a half hours and all of a sudden Wham! Right after, again, on the financial side, I had Ed Steer on and we were talking about the cult and where things were with bringing down the financial system and, again, how to protect yourself. And the whole station went out. There was an attack on Wham's computer system that handles all the programming. Just a coincidence. There are no accidents, there are no coincidences, and it's not from incompetence on anything when it happens. It's all planned. You see, they're panicked and they're desperate, and the timing of this as we get closer to the election. I just had a video pulled off of the YouTube platform that I had posted on May 1st, 2020. It involved Bill Gates, it involved this, And all of a sudden, it got pulled. Our email provider shut us down for several hours out of nowhere. Again, so we couldn't communicate with folks. That has been restored. This is an indication of how desperate they are. So when Elon Musk made this comment, and he got a lot of grief for making it, but he's right. Because we wouldn't be seeing these things if this were not, in fact, true. I've never been mater materially active in politics before, Musk said. But this time, there's the key. I think civilization as we know it is on the line. If we want to preserve freedom and a meritocracy in America, then in this election, Trump must win. And I believe he's right. So the way the cult is panicking, it appears that they think the way they can pull off another installation operation in November is one, to block information from getting out. And this is where you come in. Because you need to take the information, this video, 
and all our content and network it to all those you know and love. Let me be the bad guy of bringing the truth to all those that are still in a cocoon and mesmerized by the bought-off lamestream fake media tentacle of the deep state. The other way in which they're, they plan on disrupting things, we've already seen what they did in Butler and recently at the Trump golf course, and I'm sure that there's more type of events they have in store because things are not going their way because their little uh, Kamala and Timmy are not doing very well. Don't believe the polls. It's all bogus. It's all fake. Is they have to do their divide and conquer operations, right? They have to step them up, okay? And they are intent on creating as much chaos as possible. And in particular, uh, they love... Uh, civil wars. Yeah, because it's the ultimate divide and conquer. And James Howard Kunstler, political analyst, recently wrote about it. He said it's really about the sane versus insane. It's not about the right versus left, red versus blue. It, it's really about the sane versus insane. If anything like civil war ignites in this country, he states, the sides will not be the political right or, or and the blue, but the sane versus the insane. Now it happens, unfortunately, that the insane are driving the engine of government. They have been at war with the people on this, of this land for years, depriving them of livelihoods, stuffing them into prisons, breaking the social contracts, wrecking the country's relations with the rest of the world, and belaboring the people's minds with one insulting absurdity after another. They compromise a bizarre, a bizarre coalition of the permanent bureaucracy, the globalists in both the D and the R parties, and the news media. The permanent bureaucracy includes its own machine for making war on citizens, utilizing the intel blob whose tentacles reach into other agencies such as Homeland Security, the State Department, the so-called Justice Department, the Pentagon, the myriad public health, health offices, and the shadowy clique that stands in for the disabled president in the White House. You can tell they are insane because they are driven by a single motivation. To remain in power for no other purpose than to escape responsibility for their many crimes against the people that they have perpetrated in the past. This is insane behavior because it depends on the proposition that reality does not matter. That reality is optional. That there is no such thing as truth. And if it happens to exist to be a thing... It would have no greater value to the human project than its opposite, untruth. Kunstler's right. And ultimately, those that are involved in this divide and conquer operation, which is really an obliteration of 99.9% .9 of us as it relates to our freedoms, our liberties, our futures, our health, our welfare, and our lives. And when you boil it all down to it, the heart and soul of their existence is actually communism. It's nothing new. You know, I'm not a big movie guy. I don't go to movies. But I recently went to the movie Reagan. And I had a first, first row seat watching Ronald Reagan and Nancy Reagan and those around him when I first went to D.C. in 1988 at the behest of Ronald Reagan to work as a consultant on health care policy. And I've seen a lot of you know, TV specials and, and uh, some movies and a lot of books written about Reagan and the like. But that movie was, I believe, the most accurate representation of Ronald Reagan and Nancy Reagan. And it was very motivational and inspirational, which is why they're doing everything in their power to make sure that theaters kind of get it out of there fast and that they load the negative reviews on that movie. No, actually, it's an excellent movie. And you need to find where it's at and you need to go. It's really good. And it'll motivate you. Because you, you realize in that movie... 99% of the American public does not realize on how Ronald Reagan took on the communists in society when he was still an actor and president of the Screen Actors Guild. It was Ronald Reagan. He gutted the communist movement to a significant degree. 
and their propaganda operation, which is why the, the, the globalists hated him and still do to this day. To this day. You got to go see the movie. But Elon Musk also weighed in on this whole communist thing. And he weighed in on, uh, or, or should we say, communist thing. He, he recently uh, addressed uh, Kamala Harris and her economic policies. He said Kamala Harris is quite literally a communist. She wants not merely equal opportunity. Equal opportunity is great. It's what we should all strive for. But her goal is equal outcomes which is the foundational purpose of communism. And, and all you have to do is just look at some of her economic proposals. Price controls? Price control. A hallmark of communism. Price controls, the ramifications are, are, are sinister. In the food industry, it, it means starvation. Mm-hmm. Yeah, hunger, starvation. If you don't believe me, that's exactly what Stalin did. 20 million dead from starvation. It's exactly what Mao did. 20 million was a walk in the park to Mao of knocking off. And who do they really affect the most? Low income, middle income, upper income, everybody. Other than the 0.1% of the globalist cult scum that are running the show. As Kunstler says, the insane. Harris's plans have already been utilized under the Biden-Harris administration, leading to huge inflation. Well, she didn't have anything to do. No, she did. She was the tie-breaking vote on two occasions for multi-trillion dollar bills that have led to the huge inflation that you and I and everybody is experiencing. But to that upper upper people, that upper group, that 0.1%, it doesn't matter what prices are. They have so much of the funny money, they don't, they don't give a rip. But for all of us, we do. When we go to the grocery store and we look at these prices, we're like, oh my God. I'm going to have to cut down on what I buy today. Not them. They just laugh. They think prices are not high enough. You see, with these passage of these multi-trillion dollar bills, it led to huge amounts of money being flooded into the system. We know from uh, decades ago, Milton Friedman, economist, Nobel Prize winner, he taught us that inflation is caused by too many dollars being printed and put into circulation, chasing too few goods. And that's what we have. And it's directly related to the Biden-Harris administration. And it wasn't an accident, and it wasn't a coincidence, and it wasn't from incompetence. It's planned. It's about bringing down, as Musk pointed out, civilization. And what better way to do it than to starve people? Yeah. I know it sounds sinister, but it is. It's evil. But that's who we're dealing with. Look at the prices that we're talking here. Overall prices, minimum, over the past three and a half year, years have been, have, have been elevated by 20% across the board. John Williams from Shadow Stats tells you it's a lot more than that. Electricity up 32%, car insurance up 54%, groceries up 22%, rent up 22%. And then she acts like she didn't have anything to do with it. No, she was the deciding vote. Twice. And then she's been hiding, right? And let's face it, it worked in 2020, right? They hit ba Baseman Joe in the basement. And when he would shuffle out, stumble out, he'd have six or eight people at an event. Well, at least this time they, they learned from that. So now they pay people that show up at her rallies 150 bucks, and they bust them in from hundreds of miles away. So no, that's not conspiracy theory. That's in fact been shown to be the case. There have been people that have followed 
GPS tracking on the phones at her events. No matter where she goes, a huge chunk, greater than 60% of those phones were at a previous rallies hundreds of miles away. Yeah, they're being... Yeah. And as far as policies, what she has dribbled out has all been communist-based which is not consistent with civilization. And she's now trying to distance herself from Biden, but in fact, metadata reveals that Harris's campaign policy page is a copy and paste hit job from Joe Biden's campaign website. This is from Christina Lala. Harris has stolen Biden's delegates became the presumptive Democratic nominee, and now releases a policy page on her campaign website in the dead of the night with limited details, but they are actually copied and pasted from the policy page from Joe Biden's campaign website. It's kind of a switch, actually. Remember, Joe Biden for decades was known as the plagiarizer. Right? He plagiarized speeches. He plagiarized written documents from other people. I think this is probably the first time Joe Biden has actually ever been plagiarized. Yeah. And meanwhile, we get this from Steve Watson. Harris' campaign has no time to think about why certain things have happened over the past four years, like inflation. The Harris campaign has now declared that they don't have time to think about why the economy is the way it is right now with high inflation and poor job numbers. Their spokesman, Ian Sam, said, quote, We've got a small number of days until the election. You know, we, we don't have time to sit around and think about why over the past few years certain things may have happened or may not have happened. Yeah, yeah, end quote. You know, this is really a, a prime example of, of how criminal psychopaths, and they are psychopaths, view you and me, the public. Right? I mean, they have destroyed tens of millions of people's lives with their reign of terror and their communist agenda. And they don't give a damn. No. And all these whatever she's dribbled out of policies. Some people are saying, well, wait a minute. She was against fracking. Now she's for fracking. Uh, she, you know, she's she's a, 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 about mandatory gun confiscation. Now she's about, well, I own guns. She was talking about Oprah, about people, right? Yeah, the whole thing was weird. Bernie Sanders says the quiet part out loud, says Kamala is not abandoning her socialist communist ideals. She's trying to be pragmatic. And read that. It's, that's political speech where she's lying her butt off. Uh, to win the election. Bernie, just from Jim Hepp. Uh, Bernie Sanders has said the quiet part out loud on Kamala Harris is flip-flopping on key issues, confirming what mer many Americans have known all along. Kamala is not abandoning her far-left socialist communist ideals. I mean, her dad was a known communist, right? A card-carrying communist, a prophet at Stanford, right? Pushing this stuff. The little apple didn't fall far from that little communist tree. Uh, but is simply pretending to moderate to win the election. And isn't she, isn't she getting some great endorsements, right? Okay. The Cheneys, uh, globalist extraordinaire Dick and Liz Cheney. Oh, that, wow. So you support Harris? You're with good old Dick and Liz. Uh, the IRS union that supports the IRS auditors. Yeah, they endorsed her. Ooh, wow. Uh, Putin. Yeah. Um, wow, Taylor Swift. Oh, actually... The data has shown that's actually backfired. And even Oprah, when she did that, that whatever that thing was, that, that uh, I don't I mean, that whole thing was just weird. Uh, she, when, when she would ask Harris a question and she would do this word salad thing, 
Oprah would be would was was looking at her or who, whoever I think Oprah looking at her like what what are you saying which is why Harris has done so few media interviews you know she finally did a one on one without her little Timmy boy sitting next to her in Philadelphia and that was a goat rodeo disaster Musk took a lot of grief for that initial quote I, I, I provided to you about civilization is on the line. No, it's not hyperbole. It's not an overstatement. He's right. It is on the line. So, how do we go? How do we get it away from the line and off away from the cliff? <laughs> well, not by sitting on the couch and not by being mute. We peacefully and patriotically, I use those terms purposefully, need to talk to everybody in our families, our friends, our coworkers, our neighbors, and even though it might be uncomfortable, say, wait a minute. You're not buying into this stuff through the bought off lamestream fake media, right? Because here's the truth. Civilization is on the line. Your future and your kids' future and your grandkids' future and your great grandkids who you don't even know's future is on the line and if you don't step up they're done that's that's where we are folks that's not an overstatement it's not fear porn it's fact step up step out call them out it's the key for bringing civilization from the brink back under firm ground. We are available 24-7 at DaveJanda.com. No matter how they try to hit us with our IT team, and this is why it's it, our subscription content is 30 cents a day, nine bucks a month. We, we do it to break even because it takes thousands of dollars every month for us to have a safe and secure website for every visitor who comes there and for our content. I hope you'll be, support our Freedom family. DaveJanda.com. Until next time, Dave Janda signing off. Dream big and dare to fail. Thanks for your time today.